No, you're fine. All right, just finished my weekly run. <clears throat> um, now I'm gonna sweep off our sidewalk in our little uh, steps or whatever, and then I'm gonna go inside and finish my workout. Just thought I'd show you this beautiful thing. Hope. Hope in these hard times, because we are in hard times. Love that. I love our flag. I love what it gives us. The hope inside of our hearts. And if you don't look at the American flag and don't feel hope, gotta check yourself, okay? We got we we're in this together, guys. Okay. Come on. Yeah, it's the pool slide. Come on, Angela. Yeah, I don't mind. Get in, no. Get in. No. You may think I look silly jumping and taking leaps and starting my own business and um, changing the way of my being, but that's what I've been doing for the last over two years when I started my uh, health journey and started prioritizing my health and making sure that I was gonna be sticking around for my kids when I decided to get sober and when I decided to get fit and when I decided to not be, uh, I don't know, and not to not have my life a shit show or a dumpster fire or whatever like I decided to change you know um I looked funny and I continue to look funny to people and I'm like uh what's the point what what is the point of all these changes that you're making like why yeah well it's the same as me taking this chance and this risk of newness and starting my own business and I'm willing to look funny I'm willing to look silly because I'm gonna be having the last laugh you've seen my progress from when I started um, prioritizing my health. Well, you you just wait. You'll see my progress in starting this business and it's gonna look substantially better than even my physical progress of my health because first of all, my health is still going. My, my I still have goals that I'm crushing. I'm not done yet. And same with this business endeavor that I've just started my own business. It's, you guys will see, it's gonna take off. And I'm taking a lot of you with me already. So let's go.
Oh, hearts. Look what I made. Guys, look what I made. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's backwards. I made this. Didn't really look that good. <laughs> I just put pieces together because Angie took almost all of them. Well, I didn't really know what you built. It kind of looks like the Eiffel Tower. Our power's out. But we know what to do. Right? Yeah. We know what to do. It's the cold. Milk's too mm -hmm. cold. Let's get it out on the counter. Let's go. I didn't eat my four o'clock food. <laughs> what? This yeah, everything comes out because we got to get it shut and then try not to open it again. Okay, those protein bars, they can just go over here. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. You, you definitely want the carrot cake bars. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, they no. won't go bad. They just went. No, stay. Oh. Leave it. No. But they won't like milk. Fully. This, I want to keep. Oops, sorry, love. I don't know what we're No, the water can stay in. That's just water. This stuff? Yeah, all that stuff comes out. Hey. Yes, it comes out, is what I say. Oh. Yeah, this can stay. It's not going to go bad. Careful, mm -hmm. Careful though. Oh, it's too heavy. The, the clip is off. Look at that one. The fridge is gone. Yeah, my mom's really heavy. Here you go. That's a lot of food in the fridge. I just wanted to drink milk. <laughs> no, we're no, not, we're not going to just drink the milk. Besides, drinking a whole gallon of milk isn't really good Crazy. My drinks are... Well, Hello. here I am. I am Hello. Uh, making up my steps because I have a daily goal and I have not met it yet. So I'm pacing the whole length of the house. I think it's like 60, 70 feet, whatever. I'm pacing back and forth. We had quite Hello. the eventful night or evening or whatever. Uh, we had a tornado touchdown 16 miles east. Yeah, and it was headed right our direction. 40 miles an hour. Freaked us out. We were hiding in the bathroom. Anyway. Yeah, and it was right by us. It was right, well, yeah. I don't know how close, it was but our us. our house was howling. Like, the wind going beside our house. It was it was howling. It was so freaky. Um, the kids were crying. It was it a was freaky experience, that's for sure. We lost power. We were without power for almost exactly four hours. And um, it was a good thing that... Uh, it was about three hours and I'm like, you know what? I better Google to see how long food lasts in the fridge. Like we didn't open the doors. Like we knew not to do that. Do not open the fridge doors, you know? And so I Google it and sure enough, even keeping the uh, fridge doors shut without power, um, the food would stay good for about four hours. And we were just about at the four hour mark. And so we're like, oh man, I gotta do something about our food. Cause we had a lot of food that we obviously we don't want our food to go to waste. And so like, we either had to like eat it, which that would go way over our macros, and I don't think we could eat it. We had like a lot of condiments and stuff, so we we're just racking our brain. And so we we're gonna like pack it up and I don't know, get get it on some ice, borrow a fridge from somewhere. I don't know. We were trying to do something. So we were in that. We had pretty much the whole fridge. Like we could leave the freezer because um, it said that the stuff in the freezer with the door shut could last for 24 hours. So we were still good there. But anyway, so we're packing up. We had all the stuff in the fridge all packed up and we were about to eat what we did, like what we had pre-tracked and stuff. We were just going to eat cold food and lo and behold, our power turns on. So saved by the bell, put everything back in the fridge, heated up our food and we had a good dinner. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you a few uh, videos from earlier. Like uh, I filmed the sky before I knew that there was a tornado coming and it was pretty cool. And then I didn't get any footage um, while the storm was going because I had my mom on the phone, okay? 
I wanted to see my mom. If this, was, if this was, if this was our last day on earth, we were talking to Nana. So I didn't get any footage during the storm. Um, but all in all, I gotta say that I'm super grateful, super grateful. Anytime we ever go through anything like this, anytime we ever are robbed, so to speak, of our daily conveniences like power and um, the thought of being safe or safety, it just makes me super grateful for what we do have. Um, and I try to, we try to teach that to the kids. So one of the first things that we were doing when, um, first of all, when we got scared, because the weather just turned south super fast, was just think of things to be grateful for that we had and just trying to change the atmosphere around us to where it wasn't just full of fear. And of course, Nana being on the phone helped a tremendous amount because that always makes the kids happy. And so just uplifted our spirits even more. But, and then when we had lost power, um, I uh, just reminded them like, hey, we have running water. Let's be grateful that we have running water. We have that. And so it's just in those times when you're, robbed of your daily conveniences or you're put out or um just stuff like no have let your power out isn't necessarily a minor thing but in comparison to a lot of other things that could happen that's a minor thing and so just in times like that you just got to remember to be grateful for what you do have um because it does help you get through those harder times it doesn't make it easier because hard times are hard times but it helps you get through it with grace it helps you get through it without going completely insane or at least that's what it was in our case tonight